Smith is significantly bigger than me. <laughs> we are not the same size, okay? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celeb reactions to the Will Smith and Chris Rock feud. I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. For this list, we're looking at responses from within the industry regarding the seemingly never-ending slap saga. From that fateful Oscar Sunday to Rock's 2023 Netflix special. Are you Team Will, Team Chris, or Team We're Still Talking About This? Let us know in the comments. I'm Team We're Still Talking About This. Number 10. Adam Sandler since joining SNL in 1990, Sandler and Rock have collaborated on various projects. We, we were on this show together, right? Yeah, yeah, we got the same time. Yeah, yeah. We got hired the same days. In March 2023, weeks after Chris Rock's selective outrage landed on Netflix, Sandler received the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. When People asked Sandler if he felt Rock's comments about Will and Jada crossed a line, he supported his fellow comedian. If I thought he was unbelievably relaxed, funny, thought, thoughtful, crushed it. Sandler praised Rock's special, going as far as to compare it to the Super Bowl. Rock was present that night to honor Sandler, discussing how he had been robbed of an Oscar nomination for Uncut Gems. Rock also referenced his own Oscar ordeal, saying that Paul Pelosi, who endured a hammer attack in 2022, knew how he felt. Based on Sandler's reaction, he found that joke funny too. One of the best experiences. I, I thought it was amazing. Number 9. Eddie Murphy Almost a year after the slap, Eddie Murphy accepted the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the 80th Golden Globes. This is very nice. I want to say thank you to the Hollywood Foreign Press. Murphy kept his speech short and sweet thanking all the people who helped him get to where he is. Murphy's calm, humble demeanor made it all the more surprising when he built to a punchline referencing Will Smith and his infamous words on Oscar night. Pay your taxes. <laughs> mind your business. And keep Will Smith's wife's name. Mouth! Speaking to the press backstage, Murphy expressed his love for Smith and Rock saying that he hadn't heard from either of them since the previous year's altercation. Have you talked to Chris Rock or Will Smith about that incident? No, I haven't, but I love both of them. Had Murphy hosted this year's Oscars, he says he would have worked that joke in. While Murphy wasn't afraid to go there, he thought it was wise to address the incident and move on. Good night, everybody. And keep Will Smith's <laughs> wife's name out your <laughs> mouth. Number eight, Jim Carrey. While the slap left the biggest mark at the 2022 Oscars, some were just as shocked by the fallout. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. Smith was permitted to remain in the theater, winning Best Actor later that night. Jim Carrey said that he was, quote, sickened to see Smith receive a standing ovation following such a violent display, believing that the since-banned Best Actor winner should have been told to leave up front. Carrey went on to call Hollywood, quote, spineless. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless. On mass. Although Rock decided not to pursue legal action against Smith, Carey would have gone down another route had he been on the receiving end. Carey added that he had nothing against Smith personally, but his actions overshadowed what was supposed to be a special night for everyone. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment last night. Become a Watch Mojo channel member and get exclusive perks like Mojo emojis, loyalty badges, priority comment replies, and exclusive members-only content, including live list rankings with the Mojo staff and peeks behind the scenes. Don't miss out. Number 7. Jimmy Kimmel Virtually every late-night host commented on the slap. Jimmy Kimmel stood out since his show is on the same network that broadcasts the Oscars. This did not stop Kimmel from breaking down the feud during his monologue the following day. And the weirdest part was that initially Will Smith laughed at that joke. When Kimmel was enlisted to host the following year's Oscars, a few jokes about the controversy seemed inevitable. Kimmel did not tiptoe around the elephant in the room, assuring the audience that a crisis team was in place. If somebody tried to attack Kimmel over a joke, they'd have to get past several action stars, including Michael B. Jordan and Michelle Yeoh. Just don't count on Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man getting caught in the middle. Kimmel got through without any slaps or envelope mix-ups. Number 6. Marlon Wayans Marlon Wayans dedicated his 2023 stand-up special, God Loves Me, to the Smith-Rock feud. 
While Wayans expressed deep admiration for both parties, he couldn't help but take at least a little pleasure in the slap. He revealed that Rock once heckled him, driving Wayans to quit stand-up for 20 years. This man sat there at the front of the stage and heckled me my entire set. Wayans also had a huge crush on Jada Pinkett Smith, who he knew personally. Upon learning that she was in a relationship with Will, Wayans was naturally disappointed. And who's sitting there? But the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, I was so mad, I was hating. So when Smith slapped Rock on national television, Wayans saw it as God demonstrating his love for him. God loves me because none of those roles are for me. Despite taking shots at everyone involved, Wayan said in a Hollywood Reporter interview, quote, that the purpose of this is more healing than it is deconstruction. Number five, Joe Rogan. Never one to shy away from controversial subjects, Joe Rogan of course had a hot take about the Smith-Rock feud. The podcast host was quick to comment on the slap, condemning the Academy for not having Smith escorted from the ceremony. Rogan found Rock's joke, quote, mild at most, saying that Smith's reaction, quote, sets a terrible precedent for comedy clubs. So it's a terrible precedent for comedy clubs? Yes. Like, are people going to yes. decide that they're going to go on stage and Ooh, smack the comedian now? About a year later, Rogan had more to share on the heels of Rock's Netflix special. Rogan once again questioned what Smith was thinking, but this time, he focused more on the audience's response, or lack thereof. The, the mindset of the people in Hollywood there's, no, there's very little independent thought. In Rogan's eyes, Hollywood has few independent thinkers who are willing to call out something morally wrong. The standing ovation that Smith garnered seemed to support Rogan's argument. They don't know what to do. They don't have the ability to say, hey, that's not right. Number four, Serena Williams. Smith won the Oscar for portraying Richard Williams, the father of Venus and Serena. While Smith thanked the Williams family in his acceptance speech, he also compared himself to, quote, the crazy father. On behalf of the real King Richard, his son, Chavota Lassane, stated, quote, we don't condone anyone hitting anyone else unless it's in self-defense. Venus has been mostly quiet on the incident. Meanwhile, a stunned Serena initially said in a since-deleted Instagram story, I gotta put that drink down because, uh... The tennis superstar went into greater detail nearly a year later. She felt that Smith's actions overshadowed Questlove, who subsequently won Best Documentary Feature. At the same time, Serena expressed sympathy for Smith, saying that she knew what it felt like to make a, quote, mistake. I've been there, I've made a mistake, it's not the end of the world. We're all perfect and we're all human and let's just be kind to each other. Number three, Jada Pinkett Smith. The 2022 Oscars was not the first time that Rock cracked a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, notably throwing shade at her boycott of the 2016 ceremony when he hosted. After Rock made his G.I. Jane comment six years later, Pinkett Smith's eye roll seemed to say everything. Pinkett Smith, who shaved her head due to alopecia areata, touched upon the slap while discussing her condition. The actress expressed hope that her husband and Rock would be able to, quote, reconcile. My deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. Pinkett Smith has yet to officially go on the record about selective outrage. However, a source close to her told People that she, quote, has had no part in all of this other than being heckled. The source also accused Rock of being, quote, obsessed with her. Chris is obsessed with her, and that's been going on for almost 30 years. Number two, Will Smith. During his Oscar acceptance speech, Smith apologized to the Academy and his fellow nominees, but he only alluded to Rock. On social media, Smith subsequently apologized to the comedian, saying that he was, quote, out of line and, quote, wrong. Smith appeared in a YouTube video the following July, claiming that he had reached out to Rock, but he wasn't ready to talk. For the time being, Smith again apologized to Rock, as well as his family. So I will, I will say to you, uh, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable. He also asserted that Jada wasn't responsible for his decision. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Like Jada, Will still hasn't publicly shared his two cents on selective outrage. According to a source that spoke with Entertainment Tonight, Smith didn't watch the special, but Rock's comments left him feeling, quote, embarrassed and hurt. 
Now a source tells ET, Will is embarrassed and hurt by what the comedian said about him. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Sean Combs. Diddy claimed in March 2022 that the feud was, quote, over. Was it, though? That's not a problem. That's over. I can confirm that. James Corden. Jada's the new Bruno. We don't talk about Jada, no, no, no. We don't talk about Jada. Jaden Smith. Quote, and that's how we do it, Will and Jada's offspring declared. Gerard Carmichael. Barely a week later, he was already tired of talking about it. But like, aren't you sick of talking about it? Isn't it kind of crazy? We just, it, feel, it feels like we've been talking about it for so long. Number one, Chris Rock. Immediately after the slap, practically everyone had something to say. Everyone except for the person who got slapped, other than a comment about this being, quote, the greatest night in the history of television. Rock said that he was still, quote, processing what happened while performing at the Wilbur Theater days later. It took another year, but Rock unleashed all of his thoughts in selective outrage. The people I did it hurt. It still hurts. <laughs> I got summertime ringing in my ear. In addition to numerous jokes about Will, Rock used some harsh words to describe Jada. Rock even tackled Jada's reported, quote, entanglement with Jaden's friend August Alsina, who denies watching the special. I didn't have any entanglements. While Rock didn't fight back at the Oscars, he pulled no punches or slaps here. Sources claim that he's ready to move on. But can the rest of the world? She hurt him way more than he hurt me, okay? Okay? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.